I'm going to walk you through entering a load into Truckwin, and this would be when you receive the paperwork for a load that you need to fill, but you do not know who is going to be assigned to it, and you just want to get it into the system. So you would go to Dispatch, and we're going to go to Enter New Loads, and this has three sections, your bill to, your origin, and destination, all three pretty self-explanatory, but your bill to is going to be who is getting billed for this load, so your customer. So I'm going to double click on the customer ID, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the customer that's getting billed for this. I'll choose Coastal. Over to the right, you have options for BOL, PO number, pickup number, customer reference number. These are all optional. For example, you may not have a bill of lading number yet, but you might have a customer reference number. So you can go ahead and enter that in if you have it. They're all optional. Origin and destination. Origin will be where the load picks up from. I'm going to once again double click here and pull up my list. We're going to pick up in St. Paul, Minnesota. The destination, rather than using the customer list, I'm going to go ahead and just type a location in. You do not have to use the customer list for origin and destination if it's somewhere that you might not ever go again. So maybe you don't want to clutter your customer list with a bunch of locations. I'm going to fill in the ship date and the delivery date. And this is the final delivery date. You can al always add additional drops and pickups to the load in between them. Down below is also information you can enter in that's optional, such as your length, width, height, if it's a full load or partial load, meaning is it a full load or an LTL load. We're going to go ahead and hit Save Order, and that's going to populate all these buttons on the right-hand side. If you had additional drops or pickups, you could click here on the stops and additional mileage points. That will be another video. We're going to go ahead and go to apply revenue because we know how much we're going to bill that customer for this load. So I'm going to hit apply revenue. It's always going to ask me add new record. I'm going to hit yes. In my billing method drop down, I'm going to click on C for contract, which would be a flat rate. I'm going to type in the rate. I'm going to hit save and exit. So now we have our basic information entered into the system, and this can sit on our pending board until we are ready to assign it to an actual driver. So I'm going to go ahead and hit exit here, and I'm going to go to my pending load board, and this shows me all of the loads I have in dispatch that are waiting to be assigned. And if I scroll down, I should see mine towards the bottom here. Here it is, the St. Paul Billing Coastal. And as far as assigning that, that'll be a new video. Thank you.